In under two weeks' time, it will be a quarter of a century, silver jubilee, since the troubles came to an end with the signing of the Belfast Agreement. Just yesterday, the news broke that MI5 has raised the terror-level security threat to severe. This comes just weeks after a senior police officer was shot in County Tyrone, with the distant group, the new IRA, taking responsibility. Northern Ireland increasingly finds itself in a difficult position, with the boycott on Stormont remaining intact after the DUP rejected the Windsor framework. Well, who better could I discuss this with than the leader of the DUP, Sir Geoffrey Donaldson? Sir Geoffrey, thank you so much for coming in. You're not going back into power sharing at the moment. When do you think you will be able to? What do you need to persuade you to do that? Well, Jacob, what we have said is that the Windsor framework was to represent some progress on uh, the protocol. The protocol, uh, which was part of the EU withdrawal agreement, um, has caused a lot of harm to Northern Ireland, not just in trading terms, but um, in terms of harming the cross-community consensus that is essential for power sharing to work. And whilst the Windsor framework addresses some of the problems and difficulties created by um, the protocol, it doesn't fully restore Northern Ireland's place within the internal market of the United Kingdom. Now, I accept that in circumstances where we have businesses in Northern Ireland, including in my own constituency, that want to continue trading across the border, the Irish border, and into the single market, uh, that we've got to have an accommodation to enable that to happen. But where I draw the line is where the application of EU law extends to all manufacturing in Northern Ireland. And to put this into context, Jacob, we manufacture approximately £77 billion pounds worth of goods in Northern Ireland every year. Of those, £65 billion are sold in the United Kingdom. So think about that. Out of £77 billion, £65 billion sold in the UK. £12 billion sold in the rest of the world, some of that to the European Union. And yet, for all of those goods, EU law applies. And that creates a difficulty then, because we're following EU standards. And you were talking about that earlier on your uh, programme tonight, about, um, for example, the, um, the route that the EU is taking in terms of uh, motor vehicles, um, uh, whereas in the UK we're holding on to the, you know, phasing out... Um, uh, the uh, traditional t form of motor vehicle. But in Northern Ireland, the, the policy will, will apply, ironically, in this instance, will be the EU policy. So people like me will come buy our petrol cars in Northern Ireland in 2031 and then bring them over to England. And that's precisely uh, why this harms the integrity of the UK's internal market. Now, some might argue that in this uh, instance there, there is some benefit for some. But the problem is this, Jacob. It impacts on our ability to trade with, the, with our biggest market, which is our own country, and, the United Kingdom. And the argument for um, having no border in Ireland itself, between Northern Ireland and the Republic, was that this maintained peace. How concerned would she, should we be about the change of MI5's um, level of concern? In fairness, I don't think that the change to the threat level is directly linked to um, Brexit and, and to the um, dispute over the protocol and now the Windsor framework. Uh, since 1998, we've had a number of so-called dissident groups mm. on the Republican side who've continued their campaign of violence. And it has to be said, we've had some vi violence on the loyalist side as well. But recently, we've seen the, the largest dissident group at the moment, uh, the new IRA, as they are called, stepping up their targeting of police officers and, and prison officers and they've now threatened the families of police officers and prison officers. And as you rightly said, we had the shooting of Detective Chief Superintendent John Caldwell, um, who was out um, uh, coaching uh, his local youth football team, and his son witnessed the attempt at murder. So I think MI5 is right uh, in their assessment, uh, and we need now to ensure that the police service in Northern Ireland and the security service, MI5, have the resources to counter this threat. And, and do you think that restoring power sharing is an important way to maintain the peace or that the new IRA are so extreme that whatever you do politically won't actually make any difference to their behaviour? 
Well, sadly, Jacob, when Stormont was up and running, um, uh, the new IRA were active and were killing people. So there is no direct link between Stormont being mm-hmm. down mm-hmm. and the new IRA continuing its campaign of violence. It's been doing it for some time, even when Stormont was sitting. But of course, political stability is important in Northern Ireland. And that's why we need to resolve these issues. And I have said to the government um, that whilst the Windsor framework doesn't go far enough to protect Northern Ireland's place within the internal market of the United Kingdom. I'll continue to engage with the Prime Minister, with the Secretary of State for Northern Ireland, um, to to get the legislative solutions that we need to provide that protection. And you think you can get those in a reasonable space of time to go back into power sharing at some point, perhaps over the summer? I think we need to get those uh, safeguards put in place. My concern is this, uh, Jacob. Uh, EU law applies in Northern Ireland for the manufacturing of goods. Now, I believe that that should be restricted to those goods that are sold into the European Union. But the problem with all of this is the risk of divergence, that as EU law changes, and indeed, of course, as you know, through deregulation in the United Kingdom, UK law changes, increasingly Northern Ireland will have a different set of laws across a whole range of areas of law from Great Britain. And that divergence harms our potential to trade in the UK's internal market. That's why we need this protection, and we need it quickly. And therefore it's a risk to the Northern Ireland economy and you become more focused on European economies and less associated with Great Britain at risk to the United Kingdom as a structure. Well, fundamentally, Jacob, the the union of the United Kingdom is not just a political union, it's actually an economic union. And Article 6 of the Acts of Union that brought Ireland and now Northern Ireland into the United Kingdom confers on the citizens of Northern Ireland the right to trade freely within their own country, that there would be no barriers to trade between the different parts of the United Kingdom. The protocol, and now the Windsor framework, maintains barriers that are unacceptable and are unnecessary, actually, Jacob, either to maintain an open border uh, with uh, uh, the Republic of Ireland or to protect the single market. Therefore, we believe that the Windsor framework doesn't go far enough to ease the restrictions on trade between Great Britain and Northern Ireland. So people in Great Britain should be saying to themselves, this is fundamentally important because it's about the future of our country. Are we a single United Kingdom or not? And that's why the viewers tonight should be worried. Well, I heard the Prime Minister earlier this week in response to the election of a new Scottish First Minister say very clearly that he values our precious union. Well, Northern Ireland is part of the United Kingdom. In fact, Jacob, there is no United Kingdom without Northern Ireland because, of course, it's the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. So this is important to us. I mean, we're unionists. We believe passionately in the union and we want to see the UK government taking measures, introducing legislation that protects our place in the United Kingdom and enables us to trade with the EU in a way that is acceptable uh, for, to both sides, but fundamentally not at the expense of creating a border between us and the rest of the United Kingdom.